that was paid for, that the unintended consequences have been much more serious and devastating than marijuana cultivation or cannabis cultivation and use ever could have been. Roger, do you mind uh, switching gears here a little bit and telling our audience about the THC ministry? <coughs> Ro sure. Roger is a is a ordained minister of the Universal Life Church, and you have your own. How does that work? I'm 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 ordained also in the Religion of Jesus Church here in Hawaii, and that's a cannabis sacrament church. And I was advised by some friends of mine uh, years ago uh, that once I was ordained by the Religion of Jesus Church, that I could apply for a license to marry people. And have you in fact married people? And I have. And I have. It's a beautiful experience. And uh, it was a beautiful experience, actually, to apply for the license and to receive it from the state of Hawaii. Because I applied specifically as a cannabis sacrament minister. And my application was very clear, and, and I stated my case in black and white. And I was questioned by the Department of Health and then approved uh, for this very highly legal activity, which is marrying someone yeah. and performing the ceremony. And, and tell me more about the THC ministry and how that uh, relates to the practical lives of people are here in Hilo and people around the world now. And one, once I got the license from the Department of Health that, uh, that granted me the legal right to marry people, um, I thought, wow, what, how big can this get? What does this allow me to do? And right away I thought that that I could extend the benefits of my license to practitioners, other people that practices the art and, and uh, science and the culture of, of cannabis, cultivation and use and, and that. And so I created the Hawaii Cannabis Ministry or the THC Ministry. It seemed like a natural to me. And my idea is to get out to create a sanctuary for people for the safe place of the practice of the art of cultivation and use of cannabis. There's a place on this island called the City of Refuge and it's an ancient sanctuary from ancient Hawaiian days and if you broke the law, transgressed in some way, if you could make it to the City of Refuge it's called and, uh, and get in within the walls before you were caught you were given forgiveness and you were, there was a program to work your way out and back into your society and be forgiven. Um, when I visited there and walked barefoot on that beautiful ground, uh, the place is so beautiful even to this very day, it's a federal park now, that I, I wanted that feeling to, to travel with me. I wanted to take that feeling home. I wanted to experience a sanctuary of my own where I lay my head you know, on a pillow at night. And I thought, wow, what a beautiful ex uh, experience uh, or thing I could create if the THC ministry could create religious sanctuary for cannabis users which are so were, were persecuted as well you know um, unmercifully uh, almost everywhere in the world or many places in the world so I put the word sanctuary on a piece of paper and then I I added more wording and uh, more legal terms to it kind of constitutional tripwires I called it to this document Here's a, here's a copy of it now. This is the latest model of the, okay. the THC Ministry Sanctuary sign. Uh -huh. And as it says here, if I might, Sanctuary, a place of refuge for the religious practice of cannabis sacrament. Aloha, thank you for honoring the privacy of our home and garden for religious and spiritual freedom as we honor yours. The cultivation and use of cannabis sacrament is a fundamental right provided by God and preserved by law. Our home and garden is our place of refuge, one of the highest values of civilization. Cultivation and use of cannabis sacrament is mandated by our religion for spiritual receptivity and unity, for healing and for our precious connection to nature. As an officer of the law, you have zero or no compelling state interest in prohibiting our sincere, legitimate, and private religious practice. Thank you for protecting our religious freedom and for upholding the Constitution. Remember, our religious freedom is your religious freedom. And this document 
is one part, it's the, the main part, the most integral part of what I call the Hawaii Cannabis Ministry Cannabis Sanctuary Kit. And I've created, been able to articulate on paper and in some d documents and plant tags and other things. So, so just to clarify, I mean, I mean, on the one hand, I mean, you are actually um, in the process of creating a physical sanctuary, a uh, place, if you will, for the spiritual use of marijuana. But what we're talking about here is is a sanctuary of a psychic space, if you were a free space where individuals affiliated with your church um, are are not uh, are immune to the uh, prosecution. Yeah, well, to the pharmacratic inquisition. Pharmacratic inquisition. <laughs> that's right. And the botanical messiah can. Grow So happy we alive, we together can survive. Stop the bullshit, stop the lies, and now's the time to legalize. Tell me, brother, tell me true, what the hell we gonna gonna do? Remember the days We saw purple haze One and one And one is three Hey, hey, baby, what you do to me? 